hello friends one problem is here so in this problem we have to find out the value of support reaction that means ra and support reaction rb and also has to be draw shear force and bending moment diagram so first of all we have to find out the support reaction so step 1 step 1 find out support reaction support reaction so here summation of fy equals to 0 so here ra plus rb ra is upward force and rb also upward force that's why the value of ra rb is positive equals to or R minus p equals to 0 and value of p is negative because it is downward force so ra plus rb equals to p it is the equation number one now taking moment at the point b so taking moment at the point b mb equals to zero so here ra ra will produce a clockwise moment so that's why the value of ra will be positive so ra into a plus b total length is this point to this point is a plus b minus p p load is producing anti-clockwise moment that's why that value will be negative so p into b equals to 0 so ra will be pb by a plus b so putting this value in the equation number one we get rb equals to p minus pb by a plus b that's why it value will be pa by a plus b so this is the value of r a and r b so now we have to find out we have to draw the sfd diagram for this beam so here we have already said the sign conversion for shear force diagram so in my previous video so in case here r a is upward and the value of r a is nothing but pb plus a plus b so it will be it will go up to pb by a plus b value so now up to point c so this point c up to point c there is no load so pb by a plus b will continue up to point up to point p up to uh, sorry up to point c so at the point c so this is a this point is c this point is b so up to point c so no, there is no load but at the point c here is one downward force is here so the shear force value will be nothing but here uh, pb by a plus b minus p so that's why the value will be minus minus the value will be minus minus p a by a plus b minus p a by a plus b so this this will come up to this point minus p a by a plus b and now notice here up to point b there is no load so this value will be continue up to point b so now notice here at the point b the upward force rb is acting here the value of rb is pa plus pb if we add minus pa plus pb plus pa plus pb that will be zero so that will intersect here this is the shear force diagram for this beam value is positive and here is this value is negative negative so now we have to draw the bending moment diagram for this beam so in my previous lecture i have said that bending moment bending moment diagram is nothing but the area of the shear force diagram in this case here length is a and this length is b 
so the area of this rectangle is nothing but how much pb by a plus b into a that means pab by a plus b and as it is subject to point load so shear force diagram is rectangular and bending over diagram will be triangular so it will go up to this point that is the pab by a plus b so now shear we have to find out the bending over diagram for this point b up to point b so here this is this is this this was the positive shear force diagram that's why the value is positive so now if we find out the bending over diagram for this portion so here the as this value of shear force diagram is negative so the we have to subtract this area this area from this area so that means the bending over diagram will be how much so, bend, so area of this of this portion will be length is length is b and width is pa by ab so area will be pa by a plus b into b that means pab by a plus b this area and this area is negative so if we want to find out the bending diagram so we have to subtract this in this um, subtract this area that means the pab by a plus b from this so it will be it will be zero it will be zero this is the bending moment diagram for this problem and at the point where the shear force is zero the bending moment is maximum okay thank you